hey what's up you guys I had plenty of videos that I was going to do before this one but I was offered a really cool business opportunity and I want to do a video about it because it was a really cool little experience that I had and I want to tell people all about it because I have gotten question after question about my lips since I got them done. I'll be answering all your most asked questions and I'll kind of explain what happened in the procedure. I want to first reiterate that I would have never got my lips done if I was not offered this opportunity. I never was insecure about my lips. I didn't really think anything of my lips. Sure, like I'd like them bigger before if you watch my old videos. I don't really have an upper lip. I just always felt like I had small lips, but it wasn't something that I was going to go spend $650 to go fix. I have nothing against like filler and Botox, obviously. I've made a video previously about me getting Botox in my lips. And Botox is more of a semi-permanent solution. Filler is like a silicone, I guess, so to say. It lasts a lot longer, like up to two to three years, versus Botox is just a paralyzed muscle. So most people will get Botox in like their forehead so that whenever they raise their eyebrows, there's no wrinkles. I got Botox in my lips to stop my upper lip from flipping under when I smiled. So it was only to paralyze the muscles above my lip to stop that from happening. It wasn't supposed to make my lips any bigger. But then a friend in Rapid City reached out and she asked me to be her little model for a class that she was teaching on lip filler and she said it was all complimentary. Obviously I'm gonna do that. So basically she was gonna be teaching and also learning. There was another nurse there who was showing her different techniques on filling lips but there was people from pretty much all over the Midwest, all over the country coming to learn how to do lip filler and it was a really cool opportunity to be a part of that and just be the model for that situation and I got some free lips out of it and some <laughs> free jaw filler too that we will talk about in a minute. To begin, you get like a numbing cream all over your lips and surrounding area. I made a TikTok of me having the cream on and then the next clip being my lips filled. If you want to go follow my TikTok, I have it linked here. It's in the description too. Um, my TikTok's just my name, so that's more of my update life. Anyways, done with the self promo. So we put the cream on about 15 minutes before we started and then we go in there and I sit in the chair, we begin. So since it was a class, I did feel like I learned a lot as they were explaining how to do it. Don't take my word on this like as medical advice, but I know that there is linear and lateral injections and some of them going up and down in my lip and then some of them going all the way through and then out. With Botox, it was only maybe like four different injections when I got my upper lip done. It was very quick, small little pricks while filler was more of you inject the needle in and then like while you're depositing it, then it's moving around inside your lip and I, does that make sense? <laughs> so we started with my upper lip, which is always more painful. I have a really deep cupid's bow on my upper lip too, so we had to work with that whenever you're doing lip filler, you have to accentuate that cupid's bow, you know, you don't want to lose that. And also, another thing that I heard them talking about was avoiding creating a shelf look, which is where the filler goes above your natural like lip line, but that's what we were trying to avoid, especially with me having smaller lips, we couldn't do a whole lot, you know, and that's why a lot of people have looked at my lips now and they're like, they look really natural, like they look like you didn't do anything, but it was just to be a slight difference. So first of all, it hurt like a bitch. Like I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Everybody who has asked me how it went and they wanna go get it, I say I won't do it again, unless I'm getting it for free, but I will not go do it again. It just wasn't worth it in the pain sense. I cried all my makeup off just from my eyes watering. I didn't even mean to cry my makeup off. It was just, ugh, like it was such a sensitive spot that it was just making my eyes water and my eyelashes were literally just like falling down my face and all these people were watching and I basically was bare faced by the end of it. <laughs> But the upper lip was not fun. There is lidocaine inside of the filler, so it does start to numb up as they're going, but at no point was I completely numb where I'm like, I don't feel this. It still hurt, like, it hurt really bad. <laughs> and then we did my bottom lip, which was not as bad. It's not as sensitive. Mm, I still didn't like it. I'm not a fan of needles. It is just a little, like, pinching pain it's it's just like sharp and it's not for very long you know it's maybe the whole thing was about 30 to 45 minutes it's just little pinches and you know it's a needle and you can just 
feel it filling in your lip and it's like mm, at least i'll have nice lips for the next two to three years i was also very very bruised by the end of it i bled a lot which is weird because i don't bleed with my tattoos i swell a lot but I bled a lot and it, there was a ton of bruising. I swelled up huge. Here's a picture of me right after the procedure. Literally, I got in my car and took this picture and I FaceTimed my friend and she's like, you look like you have a filter on your face. Like, what the hell did you do? But I was just so swollen. As you can see, it really evened out. It looks really natural now and it just gave me a little bit of plump on my upper and bottom lip and I feel like it kind of evened them out too. My upper lip used to be about half the size of my bottom lip. I'm really glad I did it, not gonna lie. Especially because, you know, I was being the test dummy and I didn't have to pay, so that was really cool. It was very nice of her to do that. All my friends wanna go get their lips done now, and you know, I'll always encourage everyone, like, do what your heart desires, but it hurt, I'm not gonna lie. One of the things that they did on my bottom lip, to explain this in the best sense, was called like a crow's foot, where they insert it like up, and then while they're, the needle's still inside, injecting it in kind of a crow's foot pattern, so it feels like a more wider area. It sucks, Ugh. like you just feel a needle moving around inside of your lip. It's not a good feeling. It's not supposed to feel good, but beauty is pain. If you're in my area, if you are in the South Dakota Rapid City area, or if you're going on a little road trip this summer and you want to stop by and get your lips done, Pyramid Aesthetics in Rapid City, South Dakota. They are freaking awesome. She was so sweet when she was doing my lips. She was like, I'm sorry, are you okay? Like, checking in with me the whole time. She was absolutely awesome. Not that I would do it again, but I will encourage everyone else to do it. <laughs> but um, if you just came to this video for the lip filler part, um, that's it. Thank you for watching. I also got my jawline done and it was just kind of like a spur of the moment thing and I just briefly mentioned something where I was like eh, I'm not like a huge fan of my jawline like I feel like I have like a fat face and I have like a double chin they were like we can, we have time like we can work on your jawline so <laughs> this is terrible you guys this is terrible getting your jawline is not like getting your lips done getting your lips done there's like the juvederm inside of the needle and um, you just inject it, like, like kind of like a shot. From the best way that I can explain it from like my perspective, I obviously couldn't see it, but they poked like a little hole in my jawline, like right about like underneath. Um, I think I still have like a little mark right here from it. They poke a little hole, and then inside that hole they insert like a stick type of thing, because it's not a needle, it's not like sharp like a needle, but it has the juvederm inside of it, and they kind of like move it around and like insert it into your jaw, inside of that hole. <laughs> Obviously, I couldn't see it. Like when they were doing my lips, I could kind of like see it in the mirror or like I just knew what they were doing more in my lips than what they were doing in my jaw. They did the jaw after the lips, so I was already still like a little shaken up, like went through a lot of pain and then I just didn't expect to do my jaw, so it wasn't a pain that I was like anticipating. They did this side and I was fine. I was like, okay, it's over now. And then they were like, time to do this side. She was in my jaw and I don't know if you've ever gotten a cavity filled. Sorry, warning, this is so gross. But whenever you get a cavity filled, you can kind of hear them whenever they're giving you the Novocaine shot. You can hear them injecting the liquid into like your jaw and you can hear it in your ear like kind of swishing around is the best way that I can describe that and that's all I heard when they were doing my jaw and it was just making me so sick like it was making me so nauseous just hearing that like hearing what was going into my jaw was making me very nauseous. I started to go cold like I was sweating and then the sweat just got cold. And I was like, oh, like, I don't feel good. And I couldn't move. <laughs> and then things started to kind of go like black hazy. Like whenever I would blink, the black would like the, would be fuzzy, like staying around, like I'm about to pass out, you know. And then I just put my finger up. Mind you, like she's teaching a class. Like there's a lot of people watching. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm about to pass out. I was like, I'm sorry. They were so nice about it. She's like, I'm so sorry. She had to keep going because she was inside my jaw. You know, you can't just stop. Everybody else in the room was running and grabbing ice packs for me. And they put one on my forehead, one on the back of my neck. Like they were fanning me with their clipboards. Like they were so cool about it. They were so helpful. And 
totally brought me back from that situation. I just kept telling them, I'm like, I've never gotten that close to passing out and came back from it, like actually did not pass out. It, w it was great customer service <laughs> on that end. It just really freaked me out and now I'm glad that it's done, you know, it gave me a little bit of a jawline. She posted a before and after that I will put right here also. But yeah, they did an amazing job and it looks really nice. I can like feel the filler kind of along my jawline and I, I noticed a little bit of a difference. It's not as drastic as my lips obviously, but it's just a nice little like Kind of like a lift to my face. Once again, it's not something that I needed. It was just something that I wanted. Whatever you feel about filler, just keep it to yourself because it's done and I did it. And if you don't like it, you know, you don't have to do it. And that's what I say about tattoos too, is if you don't like it, keep it to yourself because it's already on my body and it's going to be there for the rest of my life. So mind your business. Don't do it if you don't like it. I hope that this taught y'all something or, you know, you made up your mind whether you wanted to do it or not. I hope I didn't deter you because I do think that it was an experience that I now have and I can say I've done, but I won't do it again. <laughs> I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, subscribe to my channel for more videos. I won't spam you. You can turn on my post notifications bell. I post about once every one to two weeks. I'm trying to be a little more consistent. Yeah, thank you for watching. Go follow my socials also because that's more of my day-to-day -day life. I post on Instagram, my Instagram stories almost every day. So kind of get to stay up to date with things going on in my life in between videos. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow my socials, and yeah.